to find the total number of cubes, it's really quite simple because you can literally count. Um, you have one, two, three, four, five cubes along the bottom layer or along the length and you have one, two, three, four cubes along the width. So if you think about it, that means you have a total of 20 cubes on each layer. And you can count it right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So if you know you have 5 by 4, that's going to be a total of 20 cubes on this layer. And since you're going up another layer high, you know that there's going to be 20 cubes on this layer because it's a perfect rectangular prism. So that's going to be a total of 40 cubes with an edge length of 1 fourth. Now you could take the number of cubes along the length, which is 5, the number of cubes along the width, which is 4, that's going to give you 20 cubes on the bottom layer, and then say, okay, it's going up two layers high, so you'll multiply by 2. And this is where you can get your 40. 5 times 4, which is the number of cubes along your length and width, which is 20 cubes, and then multiply by 2 because you're going up two layers high. Now that's a total of 40 cubes. Now you have to recognize that this is not the volume of the prism. This is not the volume of the prism. It's the total number of cubes with edge length 1 fourth. So since the cube is not um, a whole number, we deal with a fractional edge length instead of a whole number one. So since we're not, since the, the cubes is not one by one by one, um, this is not the volume, but only the total number of cubes. So don't mix that up. Now you can use the total number of cubes to find the volume, because if you think about it, this one cube right here, let's, let's pull, this, pull this cube out right here. We're going to pull this cube out. So I have a small cube. And it says that the edge length of court, the edge length is one fourth. So since it's, the cube has all equal size, this is one fourth. The length, the width, and the height is one fourth. So if I find the volume of this, I can multiply my length times my width times my height, and that's going to give me a total of one sixty fourth. So each one of these cubes inside of this prism, all forty, have a volume of one sixty fourth. So if I take that volume of 1 cube 164 and multiply it by the total number of cubes, which is 40, because I have 40 of, means to multiply 40 of those, I can figure out the volume of the prism. Put my whole number of 1, multiply across, 1 times 40 is 40, 64 times 1 is 64, and then I can simplify, these are both divisible by 8. 40 divided by 8 is 5, and 64 divided by 8 is 8. So this is going to be the volume. So the volume is equivalent to 5 eighths. But there are a total of 40 cubes with edge length 1 fourth. So don't mix those up. Now there's another way you can find the volume. You can use your volume formula. Length times width times height equals the volume. Let me clear this. You can also use your volume formula. Um, volume is the number of cubes that can fit in the side of a three-dimensional figure. So since volume is three-dimensional because it has a length, a width, and a height, whenever you're finding volume, you're going to be dealing with three dimensions. So I'm going to figure write my formula length times width times height equals the volume. And you want to use this formula. It's on your reference sheet if you forget it. And we're going to put in the actual length. So if I come here, I, I can count. I have one fourth, one fourth, because the edge length for each cube is one fourth. One fourth here, one fourth here, and one fourth here. So I have one fourth, one, two, three, four, five times along the length. So if I take that one fourth and multiply it by five, that's going to give me a total of five fourths. So my length is going to be 5 fourth centimeters. So I'm going to put that right here in for my length, 5 fourth centimeters. And then I want to get the width. So along my width, since the edge length is 1 fourth centimeters, this edge right here is 1 fourth. So I have 1 fourth one time. This edge right here is 1 fourth. This edge right here is 1 fourth. 
and this edge right here is one fourth. So if I want to find the length that I will substitute into my volume formula in centimeters, I will have one fourth four times because I have four of those cubes, four of the cubes with one fourth edge length. So I want to figure out the whole length. So four divided by four equals one. So if you have one fourth four times, the width is going to be one centimeter. And I'm going to change this to a fraction by putting it over one. Now I want to find my height. So my height is going up. This length right here is one fourth. And this length right here is one fourth. So since I have one fourth two times, I'm going to multiply one fourth times two. And that's going to give me two fourth. And that simplifies to one half. So I'm going to put in one half centimeters for my height. Now I can go ahead and find the volume by multiplying across. So for my numerator, I have five times five centimeters or five, five centimeters times one centimeter times one centimeter. That's going to give me five. And then I have centimeters times centimeters times centimeters. That's going to give me centimeters to the third power because repeated multiplication gives you an exponent. So I have five centimeters cubed for my numerator. And then for my denominator, I have four times one times two, which is eight. So I get the same volume whether you use the total number of cubes or if you use the volume formula. But you have to know how to find the length, the width, and the height. So you would take the edge length and multiply by whatever, however many that you have. Another easy way to do this is to say, okay, I have one, two, three, four, five. I know my length is five fourths. The denominator is going to be four. I have, I have one, two, three, four. So I'm going to have four cubes on, and then my denominator is going to be my edge length here. So that will be four fourths. And then I have one, two. So I have two fourths. So that's actually easy. The numerator is going to be the total number of cubes, which is 40. And the denominator is going to be the denominator for your volume of one cube, which is 64. So either way you go, you get the same answer.